Good morning. We are in Bergen, Norway. And we are in a sauna this yeah. morning. So this is one of the must-do things if you're coming to any Scandinavian country. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited about it. So I have always grown up going sauna and Anthony has had to um, learn. <laughs> yeah. learn the ways. He's had to learn the ways. Um, we go sauna at basically everywhere we go. All of my family members have saunas, my parents. Um, at the cottage. Yeah, it's very typical for a Scandinavian family to have saunas in their homes, at the cottage, outside, indoors, but we've never been in a Norwegian sauna, so that's what we are trying this morning. And so we are in Height Bergen <coughs> Sauna, mm -hmm. which is a floating sauna. There's two locations here. We picked this one. The other one's like a brown exterior. This one's a nice black. Yep. It's got a really cool crane right outside of it as well. Mm -hmm. So you get to come in, sauna, you can walk out, jump right off the, they call it a jetty, we call it a dock. Yeah. And uh, it's, I think it's pretty chilly, but. Yeah. Anyway, so come experience it with us. It's cold. <laughs> I'm One. Is it really that cold? It's it's not that bad. One, two, three. It's not bad. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> okay, it is actually that bad. It's really really cold. Um, I've also never jumped into salt water before. I've only ever gone into a pool or fresh water in this free this. <laughs> Water is like, I don't know what the temperature is, but it's really cold. All right, Anthony did remind me that uh, that was actually a lie. I have been in colder water. Um, in Finland, there is a tradition that's called Avanto. And so in the winter, you cut a hole in the ice and then you go into the sauna, you get it really hot um, by throwing like water onto the gyuas, onto the rocks or the stove, I guess. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, you run and you dunk yourself through the hole of the ice into the water and it, that is freezing. <laughs> Anthony, I don't think has ever... No, I've never done that, but I have yet to visit Finland. So I've, I'm still new to the sauna culture. I've been doing it for, I guess, as long as we've been together now. So seven, seven, years. seven eight years now. Mm -hmm. But I've never jumped through a hole in the ice afterwards. Yeah, it's not <laughs> very common where we live in Southern Ontario. We do it with my friends in Thunder Bay. There's a huge um, Finnish population there. But yeah, so sauna culture is a huge, um, huge thing in Scandinavian countries. So Finland, uh, Norway, Sweden. Yeah. Um, I think parts of Russia as well, actually. Probably in the northern parts if I had to guess. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, so yeah. To if you're visiting a Scandinavian country, you should definitely try it out. Absolutely. And do it the right way. And it's very different. So North American saunas or sauna yeah. <laughs> um, are typically quite mild. They're like, I don't know, maybe 40 degrees, 50 yeah. degrees. And a lot of the time electric. Yes, yeah, so a lot of the time electric. And you, there, you find them at like your local swimming pools. Yeah. Um, hotels and Gyms. just yeah you go in after the gym or after the pool to kind of warm up very different in Scandinavian culture so in Scandinavian culture you it's really hot so the difference though is that Finnish saunas typically run between like 90 and well past 100 degrees Celsius Norwegian saunas apparently are a little bit cooler but even still it's between like 60 and 80 degrees yeah. celsius and right now we have ours uh just over 70 degrees so we had it yeah a little cooler just because we're trying to film in here and not ruin our camera yeah. equipment um but yeah sauna culture is a huge thing you go in with all of your friends or your family and you just blast water onto the stove until it gets really hot and then you run and jump out a lot of them are based on lakes yeah. Um, my parents have one right beside their pool, so you go and you get really hot and then you jump into the water. And then at the end, you wash up actually in the sauna, so you have buckets of water, and especially like at our cottage, what we do is we have cold water, and we have warm water from, there's a hot water tank beside the stove usually, and you mix them to get like a nice temperature, and then you, yeah, you soap up, you shampoo, you wash up all in the sauna, and then you use the buckets of water to 
Red Scout. Yeah. some supplied as well so we could refill our bottles. I'm already on my second. <laughs> I sweat a ton too so I go through a lot of water in the sauna. If you are planning on going sauna on a first date, I wouldn't recommend it. Nobody looks good going sauna. It is just so hot in here and jumping back and forth between the water but I promise it's one of the best experiences. But you do need to get used to the heat. Um, it's a really dry heat in any sort of Scandinavian sauna, so in Norway and Sweden and Finland and all of my family saunas um, in Canada, they are all wood burning saunas, so different than the electric sauna and it gets a lot hotter that way in here. Um, they do have electric saunas as well and they are becoming more popular. They are just not as common as the traditional wood burning sauna. Mm -hmm. 